everybody, it is Julie. Welcome back to Nobody's Beauty Guru. I am here with my lipstick collection. It's intense. So we're gonna jump right into it because I'm going to try to swatch as much of this as possible. I may be crazy. Are you with me? Let's do this. So let's start with some chapsticks. I'm gonna get those out of the way first because they're not the most exciting thing in the world, are they? I have a male linen goats. This is my go-to. This stays in my purse. This one is unscented, unflavored. I do like the mojito one best, but I don't have one right now. I have a Burt's Bees one. This one is still sealed up. I have a sealed mint one. This is a mint balm by CVS with SPF 30. I like that one in the summer. A Patronus white chocolate mint. This was from an owl crate from geekfirelabs.etsy.com. It's still sealed. I've never opened it. Same with this uh, Love With Food brand chapstick. We got in a Love With Food box forever ago. And my Lasting Smiles Organic Lip Balm in Peppermint Cream, Smile For A Calls, five tube chapsticks all sealed up. I also have a Jack Black Lip Balm Intense Therapy with SPF 25, Tokyo Milk Birthday Cake, or Let Them Eat Cake, Bon Bon Lip Balm, uh, it's still in the box. I've never used this. I have a Rose Salve by C.O. Bigelow, and I have used this. There's a dip in there. That takes forever to use, so I do like that a lot, but just forever to get through. This is my one that I'm using at night now to try to get through. This is the Carez Jasmine Lip Butter. There is a bit of a dip in there, so I'm hoping to use that one up. And I have a backup. I have the Mango, I believe this is. Yep, the Mango one. This one does have a little bit of color to it, a little bit more than the Jasmine one. The Jasmine's just totally nude. So if I count those up, so five plus four is nine plus two is 11. So 11 chapsticks, which is a ton of chapstick. Now I'm gonna go over some glosses and I don't have very many of those. So those will be quick. And I also wanna throw in this lip insurance. This is the Too Faced Smoothing Anti-Feathering Lip Primer. Um, and I've never used it before, so I can't really speak to it. I also have a butter gloss in Devil's Food Cake, which if I'm not using Angel Food Cake is definitely my go-to. Hello Gorgeous. Like, can you even? And then I have my angel food cake, which I am panning. You can see straight through it there. Go-to color, it's what I'm wearing right now. The color payoff on these is really nice. And I have a backup, this one is still sealed. Then I have a small sample of the Read My Lips lip gloss in BAM by The Balm. You can see right there. They all smell really, really good. So I have four lip glosses, one of which I'm panning. I do not like lip gloss. So the balm one I got in an Ipsy, I think, subscription, and the butter glosses are the only formula that I will actually use, and the only two that I kept were Angel Food Cake and Devil's Food Cake, because gorgeous. Then I'll go into like actual lipstick tubes, because I don't have very many. I have three of the Milani tubes. I have Pretty Natural, which I don't believe is a matte color. That is right there, gorgeous color. These smell amazing too. I have Matte Flirty which is a matte color. I love their matte formula, that's right there. And I have Black Cherry, which is not a matte formula, and that is down there. Then I have a color that's so out of my wheelhouse. I don't remember when I got this. I have to declutter this. This is the Too Faced. This is in Fuchsia Shock, and I'm actually gonna declutter this because there's just no way I'm gonna wear a pink that bright. It's a gorgeous color but it's going in my declutter box. I have two of the NYX matte lipsticks in natural, and I don't think this one has been used. So this one I did pan last year, and it's one of my go-to, like most flattering, gorgeous neutral colors, your lips look better, fantastic movie pink. I love, love, love this. So this one I'm using, this one's a backup. I also have a modern matte lipstick by Jordana. This one is in matte classy. And this one is just a little bit pinker than the natural by NYX. And again, another really great comfort matte formula. And then a Wet n Wild. Now, some of these guys, I had a ton more lipsticks. I've already gone through and decluttered before filming this. So these are last minute declutters if I'm decluttering anything during this series anymore. The rest will all show up in my declutter um, videos. Bordeaux Boulevard by Wet n Wild. And the reason I kept it is because it's like this gray toned purple and it's just so pretty and I don't have anything else like it. And then I have a Bite Beauty Amuse-Bouche in Fig, 
which I bought because I thought I was gonna like and it really is too pink on me so it's down here it looks more neutral than it is on my lips on my lips it looks really really pink but it was expensive so I'm gonna keep it then I have a little tiny uh Urban Decay this is in 69 and I'm gonna declutter it it's this red it's just a little tiny sample but if I'm gonna do a red I'm gonna do a red in a liquid lipstick I'm not gonna use a regular lipstick so I'm gonna get rid of that one then I have a Madame Glam in Classic Matte Plumbed Out KK. It is a dark one, right there. So those are my lipsticks, and I have four, eight, nine of those. So not bad, nine little lipsticks. Then we're gonna go into my stick form. So this includes ColourPop, it includes just regular chubby lip pencils, and it also includes my only lip liner, which I'll probably end up decluttering. So let's go over some of the ColourPop shades that I have. I have three of those. I have Flawless, which is a satin, and this is a really pretty fuchsia purple color. I love that. I'm gonna put it upside down so you can see it. Then I have Juju Rouge. This is a matte red, and it is beautiful, like I said. If I'm gonna do a red, it's gonna be a matte. This one's actually a comfort matte. It's definitely not too drying, and I like that. This is my go-to all the time. This is Lumiere by ColourPop, obviously, and that one goes right back in my purse because it's my go-to color. Then I have NARS. This is Cruella, isn't it? Yes, which is a nice orange-based red. And I really haven't used it that much, but I do like it. I have a Trustique that's also red. This one's in Chili Red. And that is a very bright red right here. And it's much brighter than one that I'm going to be comfortable wearing. So I'm actually going to declutter that one. Let's do the Trustique. This is in Belize Bordeaux. This is the pencil side of it right here. Honestly, it doesn't impress me. It's a lot pinker than I would like. And on the other side is this like glossy balm that you can put over it to turn it like less matte. And the glossy side doesn't do anything. And the color of this, I'm not a fan of. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. And then I have, oh, I have one more color pop. This is in Poppin. This is a matte X color. This is like the first matte X they put out. And this one was supposed to be like the mattest matte, but it is still really, really comfortable. And I love that shade. It's pretty much the brightest color I have in this format so I'm gonna go ahead and keep it. I also have a wet and wild chubby stick. It doesn't say what color it's in. Here it is all the way down here on the bottom and I do like this color so this guy stays. Then I have a couple of Bite Beauty ones so let's swatch these. I have Aubergine which is a beautiful berry color and I do like the formula of these so this guy stays. Ooh this one I don't know. This one is Cafe, and me and Nudes just don't get along. They don't look good on me, so I might pass that along. And then this one is in Cooley, so that's down here. I'm gonna keep Allergene and Cooley. I'm gonna get rid of Cafe. I just opened up this NYX pencil, and the whole tip came out. It's an ombre lip, so one is a lip like liner color, and the other side is a lip crayon. This is the liner, and this is the crayon, and I do like both colors. I will keep this one. And then I have one lip liner, which I was keeping because I figured I might be able to fill in my whole lip with it, but I think I have other lip crayons. Um, I actually have other lipsticks that match this same color. So this is Milani's Sugar Plum. I don't use lip liners and like I said, I think some of my other Milani black cherry and lipsticks match that color. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one too. I have nine lip pencils. Not bad. Then we're going to get into liquid lipsticks guys and liquid lipsticks is where I excel. I love liquid lipsticks. Although some of these I feel like I may purge colors once I start swatching. I have not swatched my liquid lipsticks because stainage but we're going to and I'm going to start off with my little tiny minis these either came in holiday samples or su subscription services and I have nine of those so let's start with those the first one is this meet Matt Hughes in committed which I feel like I like this is a really orange leaning nude like brownie nude <sighs> It's not gonna be flattering on me. It's gotta go. Then I have Suspiria by Kat Von D, which I know I'm keeping because I love it. Like, how gorgeous is that purple? It was made for me in my hair. Then I have this little tiny Sephora 
in 01. This came in a Sephora play and I love this red. I actually wore it over the holidays and fell in love with it. So that stays. Plus it's tiny. I feel like I could pan that or do something fun with it. Then I have Kat Von D Bachelorette and I feel like this is not going to be my color but I don't want to get rid of it because Kat Von D so I'm going to keep it. And then this Ciate London Liquid Velvet is actually a really beautiful color. It reminds me a lot of Lumiere and uh, some of the color poppy ones. It's really kind of brown cool tone but I like it and I'm going to give it a try because I haven't actually worn it on the lips yet. I've only swatched it. Then I have a color pop in I don't know because it wore off. ColourPop does that. Like does anybody else's packaging like everything wears off. So I don't know what color this is. It's down here. It's a cool tone nude. Almost a little bit cooler than a Lumiere and I like it so I'm gonna keep it. Go Getter I think. That is my oh my god. This color spilled out all over my desk. There's a puddle of this color on my desk. A puddle of it on my white desk. There it is right there. Holy crap. It's a gorgeous color, but I'm going to get rid of it. I'm not going to deal with that every time I have to use it. Uh, then I have Creeper, which is a red color, which I'm going to shake now because I'm nervous. And this is what Creeper looks like. I will keep Creeper. And then this is gorgeous, but again, it's all worn off, so I don't know what it is. But it's another nudie brown. It might be a little bit too nudie brown, but I'm going to keep it. So I'll keep these two. I got rid of that one because... I don't want to have to worry about it. Seven little mini liquid lipsticks I'm keeping. We're going to go into my soft matte lip creams. So I have th three Copenhagen because it's like one of my go-to colors. These two are still sealed. So I'm going to put those away, but I'm keeping them. And this one is open, so I will swatch it for you. It is one of my favorite matte colors. I like this formula. It stays really well. It's not going to swatch great because I have this uh, remover on my hand now. But that is what it looks like. It's a gorgeous deep berry red. I, I can't. I can't even handle how much I love it. So this one stays always and forever. I love it. I also have Transylvania, which is crazy dark. It's like an awesome blackened purple. It looks really dark, but when my lips kind of are underneath of it, my lips are a little bit pinker. It doesn't come off that intimidating and you can sheer it out, but it is a dark blackened purple. It's so gorgeous. So that one stays. Then I have another all-time favorite. This is Prague. Prague is one of my favorites in the spring and summer. It's this really bright one right here. It looks phenomenal with my hair and just my coloring in general. And then this is a Prague that is sealed. So I definitely have backups of the ones that I love most. So Prague and Copenhagen have some backups for sure, but they're just, they're my go-tos and I have to have a backup. Let's go into another brand. This is my only Sephora line brand. This one is a Luster Matte Long Wear Lip Color in Deep Plum Luster. I don't know. I wore this in one of my videos recently, actually. It's a really unique shade for me. It's down here on the end. And I tried it on store, on in store, <laughs> and a friend actually got it for me. But I really do like it. It's definitely unique to my collection. This is my Stila Liquid Lipstick in Patina. This one is a super, super fave, and I love it. I just did the messiest swatch of life, but there it is over there. It reminds me a lot of Lumiere, which I will actually swatch next to it. This is Lumiere 2, the liquid version of... Kathleen Light's Lumiere. So this one is Lumiere and this one is Stila's Patina. This one's definitely a lot cooler. This one's a lot warmer. Then I have Dopey, which is another one that's really, really close. This one's a satin lip though. And this one is like if the two of them had a baby. <laughs> so here it is down here on the bottom and it legitimately is just like if they had a child. Then we have ColourPop's Ultra Satin in Panda which I didn't categorize with my glosses because I really feel like they dry down and Panda is right there and it's beautiful. I love this in the spring and fall. So then I have a couple of Ofra. I have Havana Nights, which is a Kathleen Lights collab with Ofra. These are a lot more drying. They tend to also be a little bit more patchy, but I do like the color. It's like a brick red orange. And then I have Queens, which is a no nonsense dark, dark purple. Uh, reminds me a lot actually of Transylvania but a much more uncomfortable formula and <laughs> a lot more patchy. So I might actually purge this. Here it is down there. 
and I think I'm going to purge it because I like the NYX one better. It's more comfortable on the lips and it's a little bit less patchy. Guys, I am so sorry if the camera changed. I had A, a battery overheat, B, a lack of memory. So between all of that, I did swatch two different colors. I'm just going to refill them. I swatched Project Chimps by Kat Von D and Love by Kat Von D. This was a limited edition one that went to help give money to Chimp Rescue and Love is just like my signature color. Here they are right there. I love this one in spring and summer. It just goes with my hair and my coloring really well so I love them. Then I have LA Splash and Criminal which I thought would be a dupe for my love. Not my love but just love in general but it is not. It is much more cool toned purple right there, but I do still really, really like that one. So that one stays as well. Then I have Bewitched by LA Splash. The rest of these are all LA Splash. This one I actually wore to an 80s concert and I passed it around and everybody wore it because it was so comfortable and so beautiful. So that one stays as well. Then I have some nudes by LA Splash. This one is Love Good. This is one of their Harry Potter collection. Although I believe because of copyright, they had to change the name of it. And I don't know what it is now, but this is another like Lumiere-esque color that I just love. It's like my perfect kind of a nude. And this one again is really comfortable. So I'm keeping that one because love good also. And then the next three are part of my spring collection from LA Splash that I got. This one is in Flicks and Chill. And this one is another favorite of mine. It's another gorgeous nude. I mean, I say nude because this is as nude as I get. It's a cool toned kind of nude for me. This one I'm a little bit unsure of. This one is in Can't Even. This one is a lot darker and it's kind of brown, like a reddy brown, but more brown than red. And I don't think it looks great on me. This one right here. So even though it's in this gorgeous packaging that I really like, I think I'm going to declutter this one. This one is in Party Girl. This one is kind of unlike anything else I have in Liquid Lip. This is a coral color. It's a really bright one, but I think it'll be beautiful in the spring and I really do like it. So there it is right there. And this last one I'm keeping purely because it's amazing. This one is Spring Break and this one was, again, this was part of a set that LA, color, or LA Splash did. So you had to get this color when you got the set and I have never in my life <laughs> worn it, but I want to. I feel like I want to. And with my hair and my crazy attitude, I feel like I can get away with it. So I'm gonna keep it because I will not get rid of it until I wear it at least once. I'm pretty sure I can rock it. So I'm gonna give it a try. So that is my entire lipstick, chapstick, liquid lipstick collection. I have less than some people, more than most people. I have already decluttered, like I said, some before I even started filming this. I ended up with 52 total lip colors. So lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, sample sizes, pencil lipsticks, and chapsticks. So 52 all together. Hopefully I can work through some of those sample liquid lipsticks. I think that those would make a really great project. What do you guys think? Should I do a panning project just of my little sample size liquid lipsticks? Let me know if you'd be interested in that. I might be able to rock that. We'll see how I, it does. But if you guys like it in the comments down below, just let me know. And I might be able to do one of those. That could be fun. All right, guys, that has been my lipstick collection. And I still have a little bit more of my makeup collection to go through in these videos. But for now, that's been this edition. I hope you've liked it. If you're a lipstick addict, definitely let me know which one of these colors, formulas, brands are your favorite down below. And if there's any cruelty-free ones that I'm missing that you think I should really try out, let me know that as well. I'm gonna try to do my best not to shop, but you guys know I can't help looking. So if you like this video, give me a big old thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up for my red hand. Give me a thumbs up for swatches and in-depth makeup collection videos. Click subscribe and I will see all of you in my next video. That's it.